Hi guys, how's it going? This is going to be a quick um, update video on what's going on with the Accord. Um, remember how I was talking about here about either doing a swap in it or boosting it or swap and boost? Well, this is the video where I'm going to reveal what I'm going to be doing to the car. Right now it's got the F23 in it. So, here we go. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. There's the F22 or F23. This motor is OEM rebuilt. Um, got head gasket and head studs already on it. Other than that, it's completely factory. But we're not going to be doing a swap. We're actually going to do the F23. And I got a box of goodies here. So we got the HKS SSQV blow valve for it which is right here so this is the blow valve for it just a whole bunch of goodies in here and then the manifold for it so it's an eBay kit I'm only gonna be running six to eight pounds on it for now until I build my spare motor that's right there and then I'll run higher boost on it. And then we got the wastegate for it. We got the wastegate dump tube, the springs, all that. And then uh, the power maker right here. Right there. And then the turbo for it. It's all eBay turbo stuff. Um, it's a 4850, so T3, T4. Like I said, I'm going to be running about six to eight pounds on it. Not a lot. Just get a little more power and a little more fun. There's still a lot more parts that's coming in. So, I'm waiting on those, but this is just an update video. The Accord's getting boosted. So... I got an intercooler coming, intercooler piping for it still. Um, shit, so much crap coming in for it. Also got the cluster for it that has the pods in them. Um, intercooler, intercooler piping, the downpipe, uh, oil lines and stuff. So, a lot of coming, lots coming. So, get rid of this and that, and then get to it. Vermain seal I want to be doing because it's leaking a little bit and gonna do the clutch setup in it I got the radiator for it it's in the attic so I'm gonna do that relocate the battery maybe I don't know I might be able to run my intercooler piping this way and then down so but yeah just a quick little update video like I said just turbo is coming soon so Hopefully in the next few weeks to a month, this car will be boosted. Um, for a standalone setup or whatever, not sure what I'm going to do yet. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But that's this stuff. Now, for the body work that I started doing the other way, the other day, I haven't done more. It's just where I left it off at. i just been super busy with work. And have been getting out of work pretty late. And I'm just tired after work from working from 8 o'clock in the morning till 6, 7 o'clock at night. I come home. I'm tired. So today I got a lot out a little bit early and came home to this stuff, which was really cool. It's always good coming home to turbo stuff or car parts, period. Vert's still sitting in there. I haven't touched it. I was going to go get parts for it the other day, but I don't know. I'm still going to get finished this car. I'm not getting rid of it or anything. I'm still going to work on it. Just, like I said, I don't know. I want to get this done. I kind of like this. Still got that gold wheel. I have to go pick up that tire for it. They already ordered me one. I just haven't had time to drive out there to get it. I've been so busy with work and everything. But Vert. I was going to go to Njuku again and get the control arms and everything, but they still don't have the parts in stock. That's what's holding me back. From getting the subframe done and everything so i could put it back in the car and then angle mods 
and then she'll be rolling. And if my gold wheels don't sell, I'm gonna keep them for this until I go five lug because I got a crap load of steel or SEs and teardrops and steelies and I got these. I got probably like 12 sets of wheels for this, but standalone. Let's get on that. So let's talk about the standalone. Not sure if I'm gonna do a FMU setup on it, with like a missing link or something, or if I'm gonna do go back to the OBD2 set or OBD conversion with like the jumper harness and the P28 and tune from that or what. Um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna run FMU for a little bit on it and save up to get a standalone for it, make a score it or the P28. I'll have to get another one because I have a jumper harness. I just got to get another ECU for it, which they're not too much, you know. Pick them up for about a hundred bucks or so, and then that would be good. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, it's just an update video. Still got the Eclipse, trying to get rid of that. It's coming. Boost is going to be in its life soon. Ha ha ha. But. All right, guys. That's really it for this video. Just an update on what's going on with the Vert or the Accord. Got so many cars, I forget which one I'm working on. So, Turbo coming soon. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. A lot of content is coming. Everything's gonna be looking. Everything's gonna happen. Like all this shit's gonna really happen. You know, like once this is boosted and everything, I'm gonna focus more on the Vert. So then there'll be videos for that. And then videos of this, doing stuff, taking it to the track. I mean, this isn't my race car. It's my daily. Like I said, only going to run six, eight pounds just because boost. Like, what's a car without boost? I mean, it's fun. It sounds pretty. sounds good. And tire noises and blow valves and all that stuff. So, turbo's a good thing. So is beer. I'm in this video so I can go drink some beer. Um... That's it. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, comment for more, or comment and let me know, you know, if you want to see more videos on, like a video of me doing like little things on this and on the vert. Just, yeah, man, I'm just talking too much now. Thumbs up, please. Subscribe, comment below. Thank you.